pre-qualified versus pre-approved, the key differences. Just starting to think about buying a home, get pre-qualified, ready to buy, get pre-approved. You don't need a pre-qualification to get pre-approved. When it comes to buying a home, the terms pre-qualified and pre-approved are often used interchangeably, but they're not the same. Getting pre-qualified for a mortgage is an informal first step that's meant to give potential home buyers a rough idea of what they can afford. It can typically be done over the phone or online and relies on self-reported financial information. By comparison, the pre-approval process is more involved and requires lenders to do a deep dive into your finances. Once that review is complete, you'll receive a letter showing you've been pre-approved for a mortgage loan up to a specific amount. It's not a final agreement, but it proves to sellers that you can follow through on an offer. Here's what to know about getting pre-qualified versus pre-approval for a mortgage. What does pre-qualified mean? Pre-qualification is a way for potential home buyers to figure out how much house they can afford. It's an informal process where prospective buyers give lenders a sense of their overall financial situation. Typically, buyers will provide their income information and in some cases undergo a soft credit check, which doesn't affect their credit score. The lender then reviews everything and gives borrowers a general idea of how much they'll be approved for. There's no need to fill out a mortgage application or pay an application fee, and you won't have to provide documents to validate your financial info. Pre-qualification is seen as a first step in the mortgage process and can be done online. What are the benefits of pre-qualification? Pre-qualifying doesn't guarantee you'll be approved for a specific loan amount, but it can help home buyers set a budget and narrow their options. It's also a way for potential buyers to start a conversation with lenders so they can better understand the mortgage process. Once pre-qualified, you'll usually receive a letter that you can show to an agent or seller as proof you're working with a lender. What does pre-approval mean? The pre-approval process typically comes after pre-qualification and is much more involved. It's a formal way for lenders to gauge your financial situation and determine how big a mortgage you can afford. Bank of America explains it like this. Pre-approval is as close as you can get to confirming your credit worthiness without having a purchase contract in place. To get pre-approved, borrowers need to fill out a mortgage application and provide documented proof for their finances like bank statements and pay stubs. Lenders will also run a credit check. Once pre-approved, you'll get a letter outlining the maximum loan amount the lender thinks you can take on. It's an offer to loan you that amount, but not a firm commitment. Most approvals last a maximum of 90 days, but that varies across lenders. What are the benefits of pre-approval? Getting pre-approved is a way to show sellers you're serious about buying a home, a significant advantage in a competitive housing market. While it's not mandatory, real estate agents often prefer that buyers have a mortgage pre-approval letter before showing them homes. 85% of sellers prefer to accept an offer from a buyer that is pre-approved. It's also possible to get pre-approved with more than one lender. Research from Freddie Mac found home buyers could have saved up to $1,200 annually by getting four quotes. However, the report notes there is some credit score risk when applying for several mortgages in a short span. Which one is better for me? If you're just starting to think about buying a home, then getting pre-qualified is an easy step to get the ball rolling. You'll get a general sense of how much you may be able to borrow in a quick, hassle-free way. But if you already know you're ready to buy a home, then you could be better off skipping ahead to pre-approval. You don't need a pre-qualification to get pre-approved. It's important to remember that pre-approval letters expire, so make sure you're ready to search for a home and make an offer. If you're a buyer looking to get pre-approved and you're ready to buy, you want to contact me, Keith Bailey Realtor, Century 21, All Points Realty.